then, right? Kate? Okay. Hey, Kate. Like I said guys, I was not joking. This is well over 100 pounds of Legos. I am actually pretty overwhelmed. Good morning. Did you have any more video game stuff like that? No, just that one. Okay. Yeah. Any Pokemon stuff or no? No. Okay. No, thank you. I appreciate it. These are um skinny. Are these not for sale? Yeah, they are, but um most of them are, are three dollars each and some are marked where you'll have to ask me then okay like put down what how much they one? were worth to bring then right kate? okay hey kate Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Thank you. Those in that box are all um, Elena's. Yeah, so I didn't price them. If they come in ass, then they're, you know, depends on what it is. Well, like 50 cents to. Okay. All right. I'll get the $3 album and then the shirt's 50 cents. I have to write down everyone's name. Okay. Thank you. How are you doing? Here you could go like the cowboy and have it. There you go. 
<laughs> Were you selling any of the Pokemon cards? Um, I noticed no, you have I don't any cards. No like cards. It's just like a tin box. Okay. No. How much for the record? Um, I had a real nice industrial one. This one I want like three, four, the pink four, but everything else is a dollar. Okay. Mm -hmm. for your two albums. How much was your uh, VHS player? Um, the, uh, five. Okay. You need a bag? Uh, no, I should be fine. New generation is into that now. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Thank you. more. What would be the best price on your uh, pot? On the mango lake? About 15. That's a. I have a whole collection of those. A whole set from my mother and grandmother. Were you interested in selling those or just this one? Just that one. Gotcha. I use them all the time. Gotcha. I'll do 15 on it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Good. <laughs> Have a good day. All right, so I didn't record the transaction. However, I just bought like 200 pounds of Legos for 80 bucks. And I'm about to load them up in my car right now. Yeah, I didn't record because I wasn't wearing my backpack, but let's go load those up. All right, so I'm back at home now. Here is everything minus the Legos that I bought. Those are in my garage. They're just extremely heavy, so I didn't bring them up. But I paid $35.50 for all of this stuff, and then $80 for all of the Legos that I will show you later. Now this is two days worth, Thursday and Friday. With October just around the corner, garage sales are slowing down a lot, so it's gonna be harder to find stuff, but this is the reality if you are an eBay reseller. 
this is a majority of the time what you're gonna find. You're not gonna find like the crazy video game lots and all that stuff. This is usually what you're gonna find. So I'm keeping it real with you guys. This is like a normal garage sale haul for an eBay reseller, but I did get a lot of good stuff and I did find one rare thing, which is actually pretty cool. So I'll show you guys that later. That's the 50 cent item. But let me show you guys everything that I got here and then I'm gonna show you guys the Legos. Here is a 1980s action figure. I thought it was a He-Man toy, but it, it is not. It is Galaxy Fighters. And this is Firehawk or Sunhawk or something like that. He sells for about $20 and I really thought it was a He-Man toy, but I paid a dollar for it. So for $20, you really can't go wrong. Here is a vintage Wagnerware pot. Always buy Wagnerware stuff. I cannot stress that enough. The guy was asking 18, but I got him down to 15 and Wagnerware stuff sells extremely well, especially on eBay. And I found a rusty pot. It was a Dutch oven that was made by Wagnerware and it was all rusted up. And it sold for $150, even in that condition. This one's in really good condition. So it's gonna sell for good money. As you can see, Wagnerware, and it is stamped 4248-P. Now this pot is selling for about close to $80 on eBay. So I could probably get 70 to $80 out of it. We paid 15 for it. Always pick up Wagnerware stuff. Here's some small miscellaneous items. This was kind of a bad buy. We got an Amiibo, paid a dollar for it. It sells for like eight. So I am not gonna be shipping it out with free shipping for $8. So that's probably gonna be staying with me. If anybody wants it, please let me know. I got this Him DVD. Now I am a big fan of CKY and Viva La Bam. And that stuff sells really good. So I figured him might sell really good, especially because this is early him. However, it really sells for about $10, but it's still cool nonetheless. Here's some vintage handhelds. Got the Mattel football, and this is in pretty rough condition. It sells for like $25 in good working condition, and this is far from it. So that's kind of a bad buy as well. However, we did get this Blockbuster game and I've never seen it before, but it was in good condition. So I paid five bucks for it and it sells for like 30 or $40 in working condition. So that's pretty good. I don't know if it's gonna sell quickly, but it's still pretty cool in my opinion. Moving on, I got some albums. So I paid a dollar for this Michael Jackson Thriller album. And this is like a $20 album for me. Albums sell really well for me. I don't know what it is, but for a dollar and we can probably get close to $20 for this. That was a no-brainer. Got this weird vinyl right here. Now this is a vinyl moon running out of mind. And it's like brand new with the cellophane. Paid $3 for this and I think it sells for like 20. I've never seen it before, but it was super cool. Had to pick that up. And then we got some Pink Floyd animals. Now this has seen better days. So this is probably a 15 or $20 album. However, I do have this stamp. It says demonstration not for sale. Don't know if that's gonna bump up the value any. It doesn't say it on the actual record, only the sleeve. So I have no idea if that bumps up the value at all. I doubt it, but it's still cool to find a Pink Floyd album out in the wild. Here is another no brainer. We have a VHS player with the remote and it's Sony branded. It is an SLV N750. $5 on this guy and they're selling from $60 to $80 with the remote on eBay. So that was really a no brainer for me. Plus this is a really light VHS player. So shipping should be pretty cheap on this guy. Last but not least, before I show you guys the Legos, we have a vintage Megadeth shirt. Now this is insane. It is made by Giant and it's an XL, which is a really good size to find. If you look at the back here, you can see Countdown to Extinction. It's one of their albums. I think they sold this on tour and it's in really good condition, I would say, but there is some holes right by the collar. Super small, but I briefly looked this thing up and one of them sold for about 200 bucks. So for 50 cents, we have a $200 vintage Megadeth band tee from the early 90s. That is awesome. I asked the seller if she had any more, but unfortunately this was the only one she had. She had a newer Futurama shirt, but I am stoked that I found this at a garage sale. This is gonna sell really quickly as well. Megadeth, great band. For 50 cents, that is insane.
Like I said, guys, I was not joking. This is well over 100 pounds of Legos. I am actually pretty overwhelmed. I'm probably just gonna sell all of these outright as a lot locally because there's just so much to go through, so many sets. I don't know if they're complete. The lady said that all of the manuals that I find is for all of the Legos that are in this huge lot. So apparently I have a ton of complete sets. However, I'm not gonna take the time to go through all of it to make sure they're complete. As you can see, I mean, there's like, we have a helicopter right here. We have, this is like part of Batman and Joker. There's like a steamroller that they have. This is a garbage truck from the Lego movie. This is a big rescue helicopter. Got some World Series Cubs. It's the Submariner. <laughs> This is a uh, trailer. I think this is a uh, battleship. Just a ton of extras down there. There's over, oh, well over 100 manuals, I would say. So there's those. There's some like stuff that's not even opened yet, like uh, Chima or I don't even know Chima. I think there was a WWE one, SmackDown down there. And there's more more complete sets just bagged up and this is like vintage lego boxes another vintage lego box see these bags right here so just i don't even know what that goes to this is like ninjago A ton more manuals down here Lego City pieces. Like built cars, motorcycles. The works, guys. It is it is insane to see all of this stuff. Especially for $80, just the sheer bulk of it. Look in here. Got some more like complete, but not complete. It's like a Batman thing. There's a bat helicopter. I did see some Star Wars stuff in here as well. We got a uh, race car. This right here, now, I saw this. I thought this was a, it is vintage. I thought this was a Transformer, but it's not. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen. And I think this thing sells for like 50 bucks. It is insane. That is a nice surprise to find, this little dinosaur thing. Here is the bin. Half of it is just Legos. The other half is these mixed locks. And they're all bagged up and apparently complete. Uh, like I was saying, I did see some Star Wars stuff. Now this is like Indiana Jones. And I don't even know what this huge thing right here is, but there's another, it's like a crane maybe. All of the pieces are down there and they're, some of them are still wrapped up individually. Here's another Indiana Jones and uh, Star Wars. Pretty sure there's a lot of Star Wars in here. I don't know if there is something I should be looking for regarding the Star Wars. I know there's so many expensive sets. This is like Ninjago stuff. That's like police headquarters. Uh, some random toys in here. Might find some more vintage stuff. And this is another thing I saw, Republic Attack, two of three. So they had labeled these and that might be a complete Republic Attack Star Wars set, which is like, I think $70. So much stuff to go through. This is more like police stuff and I think more Star Wars stuff. The box just never ends. This, more Star Wars and police and a whole bunch of stuff. I don't see a lot of characters so um, they might be all bunched up somewhere. More police stuff. 
just miscellaneous stuff. Lego movie. All of these manuals right here. Lego movie, Indiana Jones. It's insane. Right here, another bag of stuff. And there's some platforms and a whole bunch of Legos and cars and I think this is part of a uh, Lego movie house or creator house or something like that. Fire station. I can just dig down there and see what I can find, but I don't want this video to be too long. Just looking down in this one, there's a whole fire truck, a whole nother fire station. This is the penguins car from Batman and the figures in there. More unopened stuff. This is a police boat. There is just so much stuff to go through in here. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I have no idea how much those Legos are. I'm not gonna ship them because it's just way too much weight, but I think I could sell them locally for about $300. Let me know what you think. There is so many sets in there. Most of them look complete and I'm sure all of the pieces are there. You just have to go through them. So it'd be perfect for somebody buying them for their kids or a collector or something like that. So I would say like $300 and that would make everything totaling about $700 of retail value that we bought from our $115.50 investment. That's pretty good. I don't think we got any super high ticket items besides that shirt. Now that shirt was super cool to find. 50 cents for a vintage Megadeth shirt. That is insane to me, but that's gonna do it for today's video. I really appreciate you guys watching it. Let me know if you want anything that you saw in today's video. It's gonna be posted up on my eBay account. I'm gonna leave the link for my eBay account in the description below, so make sure you check that out. Or you can send me an email. My email is also down in the description below. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video.